there are few realities about life that we all have to understand and have a very clear concept so that we can really understand the scheme of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we can have the right paradigm about life because I have seen many times including myself whenever we come across certain situations in our life any calamity comes any difficulty comes any hardship comes anything does not go our way we sometimes question even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we even sometimes get baghi rebellious that why it's me why this is happening to me there are four concepts that we all have to be very clear about and inshallah in today's khutbah I will talk about those concepts and how we can strengthen those concepts and then inshallah I will give homework to myself and homework for everybody inshallah the very first thing we have to understand that this life has two parts and they both are going parallel hand in hand at the same time one part of this life that we can see with our naked eye the second part of this life is life of ghair the life which will start once we depart from this dunya but both lives are interconnected second life depends very much on the first life so many times we see a very limited version limited picture of many things happening around us because we feel like this is what the life is of this dunya but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has his own scheme in which these two lives should be kept in the perspective whenever we do analysis of anything happening to us the second thing which we have to understand that there is only one master there is only one Rabb there is only one Ilah there is only one God who is in charge of everything and for that we have to understand two concepts the very first concept is of our kalama la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah and see the beauty of this kalama it starts with negation la ilaha illa and if you pay attention this is a phrase of kufr when you say la ilaha illa there is no god it's kufr but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts this kalma la ilaha illallah with negation so that you clear your slate you clear your mind you clear your heart that there is no God but one who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we all have to be very clear that there is only one master and the second part of that which we have to understand la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah and pay attention that here again la hawla wa la quwwata again it starts with negation there is no power there is nobody who can do anything except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we have to understand that there is only one master and he is the one who is in Allah ala kulli shayin qadeer that he is the master of everything nothing can happen in this life good or bad good or bad without his permission and his knowledge the third concept that we all have to be very clear about the definition of victory the definition of success most of the time the parameters we have the benchmarks we have of success are very limited to this dunya how we perceive and see the success of this life same benchmarks same parameters same criteria we apply across the board on everything 
But the real success for a moment for a Muslim is that he is not only focusing on the success of this dunya, but his ultimate goal is the success of the life hereafter. That is his main goal. That is his main mission. So he wants to see the success of this life in perspective of the success of hereafter. He will not compromise success of Akhirah to get the success of this dunya. And that is the true definition of success because we know success of this dunya, no matter what you get in this dunya, can last only for so long. And you can do only so much. You can enjoy it only for so many years. But the success, which is the ultimate success, is Khairam Wabka, which is everlasting and better. The fourth concept that I want to clarify here is the concept of dua. That when we make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, many times, after some time, we lose hope that you know I am asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for such and such thing for so long but my dua never gets accepted and this concept inshallah as I will go in my khutbah I will give you one example and I will clarify that how many different ways that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can accept your dua without you noticing without you understanding but you should have this faith no dua goes in vain. No dua goes wasted. Every dua you make is accepted somewhere, somehow, which will benefit you either in this dunya or will benefit you in the life hereafter. That's why Hazrat Umar Ta'ala used to say, my job is to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then I leave everything to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That how he wants to accept my duas. As he up, my job is to ask. And that's what I do, my part. And rest, I leave on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and my sisters, you know, these four concepts that I have talked to you today, talking about these concepts is very easy. We all know what I have just said. But the question is that how I can bring that Ainul Yaqeen and Haqqul Yaqeen, that firm belief that I can really understand the meanings of these four concepts and these concepts can become past part of my life. And I believe in them like I believe anything of this world like I believe that there is a sunshine outside I, I believe that today is Friday and 9th of February and I know that it's a Friday Salah time very clear picture same way how I can develop my faith so firm and strong that I can have this belief which, which will be unshakable unshakable that I will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I will make him my master I will understand the meaning of dua and I will keep always the focus of akhirah for my success you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided us a living example a living example of the brothers and sisters of Gaza and I'm going to spend few minutes why I said this Wallahi, we are living in such an important time of the human era that we with our own eyes can witness what we have read in history, what we have read about Sahaba, what we have read about you know, Muslims who are best of the Muslims. We have just read about them in books. But today, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this opportunity. And I want to make sure that we don't miss this opportunity. That we can refresh 
our iman our faith our belief there are so many brothers and sisters wallahi these brothers in gaza has changed their life you know i work for ikna islamic circle of north america if i show you our website of why islam there are so many hundreds of people every day even on weekends they send request to us we need copy of quran non muslims and they are all surprised that what kind of book is this what kind of faith is this that the people who have lost everything but they still stand firm on their iman on their beliefs on their morals on their values they never complain you and me we go through a little hardship and difficulty little calamity we complain to allah subhanahu wa taala as i said we become you know rebellious what is in the ingredient of these people of gaza that they are so calm even if they have gone through so much that human being cannot even imagine you know there was a young boy he came to his imam this example i am giving you just to share with you that there are so many people my brothers and my sister you know there was hashtag on tiktok hashtag on tiktok islam and quran you know how many people have hit that hashtag 30 billion hits 30 billion hits on that hashtag islam and quran this young boy came to his imam and he said you know i was one of the worst muslim and i used to do everything in my life from adultery to drinking you name it pornography i was the worst muslim maybe on this planet but when i witnessed what is happening in gaza i repented to allah subhanahu wa taala and i made promise to allah subhanahu wa taala that i will stop doing everything what i used to do hoping hoping that because of my repentance because of me going back to allah subhanahu wa taala maybe allah subhanahu wa taala will help my brothers and sisters in gaza so there are so many brothers and sisters wallahi that their life has changed because they have witnessed with their own eyes what is happening in gaza and gaza is a very special place and why is that their relationship with quran wallahi we are weak muslims because we read everything we read everything but quran and quran we read and we send a very wrong message as a parent to our child because we as a child receive the same wrong message this book is just to read no need to understand if this book is just to memorize there is no need to understand to memorize this book this is what we teach our kids go masjid and read learn how to read this book and there is no need to put any effort to understand this book we create develop hufaz they memorize whole quran but nobody ever ask them that this book is not just to memorize like parrot this book is to understand that's why one of my sheikh i may have said this before he said to me he said you know gunah e kabira adultery is gunah e kabira murder is you know gunah e kabira you do many gunah e kabira but the worst of the gunah e kabira which is bigger than gunah e kabira is not understanding this book of allah subhanahu wa taala and worst of jahiliya the worst of ignorance is paying no attention putting no effort in understanding the book of allah subhanahu wa taala there was a brother of one charity organization he went to gaza 
He said, you know, in one year, in one year, there were more than 24,000 kids who had memorized Quran in Gaza. It's a population of 2 million. 24,000 kids, they memorized Quran in one year. That land actually is a land of Quran. And once you understand this book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you will see the miracles of this book. Because this is Allah's promise to every Muslim who has faith on this book. This is promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we were friends of you in this dunya. Angels are saying and then we will stay as a friend for you on the day of Akhirah. Allah waliyu allazina amanu yukhrijuhum min az ila nur wallazina kafaru awliyahum al-taghut yukhrijunahum min nur ila az That Allah is your wali, Allah is your protector. Allah will be with you in every step of this life. That's why these brothers and sisters, they witness. They witness that we see angels around us. We see angels around us. We even see Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam like he is among us to strengthen our iman, to give us boost, to encourage us. When we are going through this difficulty, there is somebody who is helping us, giving us shoulder, supporting us. And you know many times about dua, imagine for you, if 1.3 billion Muslims are making dua for you, imagine your position, what will be your status? Every Muslim today making dua for the brothers and sisters in Gaza. Wallahi, I can tell you, I don't go to sleep. When I start every dua after every prayer, prayer, the very first dua is for brothers and sisters in Gaza. And one of my teachers, he said that, you know, today Muslims, they think that, you know, we are asking for the brothers and sisters in Gaza dua every day. We are doing khunut and azila, special programs to make dua for them. But if we don't see anything, war is going on for more than four months now. More than 30,000 people got killed. But the Sheikh said, you know, you never know that the because of dua of every Muslim around the world, Allah has given them this strength so they can face their challenges today. The strength they have, the courage they have, this courage and strength could be because of the duas of every Muslim for brothers and sisters in Gaza. This is one of the ways that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts. You know, I was reading other day, during these four months, almost 25,000 newborn babies have born in Gaza. 25,000 newborn babies. 20,000 was about two weeks ago. So I guess by now it's almost 25,000. So I, I was asking myself, look at the scheme of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 30,000 have lost life and 25,000 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them as a gift again, newborn babies. This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses whoever he wants to bless. Because of the brothers and sisters, my brothers, there was that same charity brother was saying, look at the concept of the victory and success. He says, one time I went to Gaza, there was a man came to me and said, you know, my daughter, she wants to go to college. And do you have somebody who can help her to go to college, to get her shahada? You know, in Arabic, the degree you get, you call shahada. So she can get her shahada from college. 
तो ही सेड दैट आफ्टर 5 6 मंथ आई वेंट बैक टू गाजा द सेम मैन मैन केम टू मी एंड ही सेड यू नो माय डॉटर शी रियली डजंट नीड टू गो टू कॉलेज बिकॉज़ शी ऑलरेडी गॉट हर रियल शहादा दिस शी गॉट मार्टर्ड in the path of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so she doesn't have to go any more to college this concept this clarity can only happen my brothers and my sisters because of quran and for such people this is the promise of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for them that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who is going to reward them because they show patience when they go through calamity this is the promise of allah subhanahu wa taala ulaika alaihim salawatun mir rabbihim wa rahma wa ulaika humul muhtadun that allah will allah will help them allah will forgive their sins allah will shower his mercy on them and rahma means this calamity they are going through will not last forever it will pass and allah promises humul muhtadun and allah will guide them allah will hold their hand allah will show them the right path because they have taken quran in their hands last two minutes ramadan is around the corner and i really want to request all of you including me Let's make this Ramadan a very special Ramadan for us. Let's try to understand this book of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Don't let pass this next Ramadan without understanding this book of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Make promise to yourself that Inshallah, this Ramadan I will do my best at least to go through. the translation of this book at least one time so that i can understand what allah subhanahu wa taala is asking me what he is telling me how i can live my life the guide is there the guidance is there the noor is there allah's hidayah is there my brothers and my sisters promise to yourself make dua ya allah give me this tawfeeq that i can witness this next, next ramadan and i promise to you ya rabbul alamin inshallah this ramadan will be a very special ramadan for me because i will do my best to develop my relationship with this book of you that i have ignored all my life i am 60 year old i don't even know how to read this book correctly i have never gone there are so many muslim they have not gone through even one time translation of this book of allah subhanahu wa taala so i pray to allah subhanahu wa taala that he gives us tawfeeq that we can plan from now and insha allah this next ramadan will be a special ramadan for each one of us so that we can understand this book of allah subhanahu wa taala so that we can have firm belief unshakable belief and faith on all those four concepts that i will live for my akhirah only master for me is my allah subhanahu wa taala and the success that i am looking forward for is the success ya ayyatuhan nafsul mutmainna irji'i ila rabbik radiyatan mardiya fadkhuli fi ibadi wadkhuli jannati allah